Hey, in this video, we're going to cover the Hibernate configuration. So just a checkpoint here on our to-do list. Uh, the first thing we need to do is set up our Hibernate config file, annotate the Java class, and develop the Java code. So right now, we're at step one of working on our Hibernate configuration file. All right, now the configuration file basically tells Hibernate how to connect to the database. And again, remember that Hibernate uses JDBC in the background for communicating with the database. So the bulk of the information that we'll have in the config file is that we'll actually have the JDBC configuration. So we'll have the database URL, uh, user ID, password, and so on, just to tell Hibernate how to connect to the database. And then we'll have some other smaller config items. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Um, what we want to do is look at the source files that we downloaded for this tutorial. And in our downloads folder, and I'll swing it here onto the screen here for a second. Um, in our downloads folder, we have this directory or folder here called starter files. So inside of starter files, we have a very basic Hibernate configuration file. So it's called hibernateconfig.xml. So I'll go ahead and right click this file and copy it. And I'll actually paste it into my Eclipse environment. Now, when I paste this file into Eclipse, I have to paste it at the root of the source directory. Um, this makes it available for Hibernate to use it because it has to be on the actual class path of your application. So here I'll paste it here in the uh, source directory. Uh, you can put it in other locations, but to keep it simple, I'll just place it here at the root of our source directory. So that's our Hibernate config.xml. So we can go ahead and double click this file and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so here's our file. Um, near the bottom, click on the tab for source so we can see a source code view of the config file. And then let me expand this window here so we can see it full screen. Okay, great. So this is our Hibernate configuration XML file. We have some parameters here set up for Session Factory. We'll talk more about Session Factory in a second. But basically, Session Factory allows us to get session objects for connecting to the database. Uh, the most important items here are lines 9 through 13, where we set up our JDBC database connection settings. So again, we simply go through, we tell Hibernate the actual driver class that we're going to use, uh, the database URL, and the user ID, and the password. And this all should look familiar to you uh, based on that previous example that we ran uh, for our JDBC test. And again, the connection URL, we simply give localhost 3306, um, HP student tracker, use SSL, false. And that's it. So that basically tells Hibernate how to connect to our MySQL database. All right, and then Hibernate also has a very basic uh, JDBC connection pool. Uh, for our demos, we'll simply set the connection pool size to one because we'll simply run things as a simple Java app. Uh, but I'll talk more about connection pooling later on uh, when we move into some more advanced development. And then on lines 18 and 19, we set up our SQL dialect. So SQL is a standard. However, as we know, each database has its own little twist on it or its own little dialect. So here we're going to make use of the MySQL dialect. So when uh, Hibernate generates the SQL, it knows how to talk to MySQL. And they have dialects for each of the different databases like Oracle, SQL Server, uh, Postgres, so on and so forth. But this is enough here for connecting to MySQL. Then on lines 21 and 22, I simply set up a uh, configuration to show the SQL. So when Hibernate executes, it'll actually print out the SQL that it's going to use when it sends it over to the actual database. This is very useful during development and testing just to see what Hibernate's doing in the background. And finally, here we have uh, the current session context class of thread, meaning that for the actual session context, we'll make use of uh, the threaded model. And that's basically it for the, the session factory. Uh, there's a lot of other configs you can set, but these are the key elements uh, that you'll need to set up for a very basic uh, Hibernate development. 
All right, so this looks good so far. So good job. 